He is hardly just another middle-aged man heading down the aisle for a second time. Almost a quarter century ago, Prince Charles was the groom in what everyone wanted to believe was a fairy tale wedding. This prince knows his way around a royal wedding. He's been attending them since he was a boy. There was the wedding of his cousin, Lady Mountbatten, in 1960. Later that same year, his aunt, Princess Margaret. In 1973, the wedding of his sister, Princess Anne, and then his brother, Prince Andrew, in 1986. World without end. Amen. Charles carried the ring for his youngest brother, Prince Edward, in 1999. Charles himself is the product of one of the great enduring marriages of all time. The royal wedding of Elizabeth and Philip started it all back in 1947. Charles arrived the following year and was on public display from the start. He saw early on what life would be like, from his mother's coronation when he was just four, to his own investiture in 1969. I, Charles, Prince of Wales, to become your liege man. Part of the job description, to produce an heir, and that meant finding a wife. When you marry, in my position, you're going to marry somebody who perhaps one day is going to become queen. And you've got to choose somebody very carefully, I think. He became what the newspapers called the world's most eligible bachelor. And on his first visit to America, it seemed even the president of the United States wanted to fix him up, in this case, with his daughter, Tricia. We hope you know and get to know our young people, the young people in our family. Charles and Tricia went to a ball game together. They shared a lavish night out at the White House, but no sparks flew. When Tricia got engaged the following year, Charles did send the president a personal note of congratulations. The prince was not a guest at that wedding. When Charles finally took a bride, a teenager named Diana Spencer in 1981, few noticed in all the excitement that the usual signs of true love were missing. And I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. <laughs> Nevertheless, the royal couple produced an heir in 1982. Sons William and Harry grew up as their parents grew apart, with no choice but to endure the spotlight, even in tragedy. The two princes began the week as boys, and they've ended it as men. Prince Charles' role as a single father now comes to an end, but he remains in the role he's always had, king-in-waiting. His mother, the Queen, has already been monarch longer than her four predecessors combined. And if she lives as long as her own mother did, to the age of 101, Charles could be a man in waiting for decades to come.